Hey guys, um, uh, it's been quite a while since my last uh, video that I posted up on YouTube. Um, this video is technically dedicated to all the people that play airsoft and paintball. And I watch some videos of cheaters that cheat, that don't call their hits or anything. And, well, that's technically rude and dishonest. And, um, to any ref that watches this, that, that does the airsoft games, or paintball, if you see me, um, I will, I have actually thought about if I was on the field with an airsoft gun, or, well, a paintball gun, and some good protection, um, if I saw a cheater, I would put down my weapon and chase after them and hurt and technically put some bruises on them. But cheaters that call that don't call their hits and continue playing when the ref is not looking, bad move because if I'm on the field and you don't know what I'm wearing, watch out when somebody's running towards you if you're on the if you're if you do not call your hits i've watched a video where a ref had a had an airsoft gun and test and see if anybody will call their hits and whoever did not left so if any ref sees this and if and if i decide to play either paintball or airsoft Give me a heads up on the people that you know, that you don't know, is calling their hits. Even the players themselves. Either I'm on one team and the enemy sees their own team members, teammates cheating. Tell the other team that I would be on. Well, then I would find them without my airsoft gun and tackle them. Like a ref would do. And then once I out and um cheating wrong idea wrong move because well cheaters never win and um that is a fact cheaters lose and people that play fair they win so don't call your hits or anything and besides I've seen a video where somebody was shot uh, okay it's like this indoor game you have to put the light on the person when you shoot them but you don't call your hits bad move but If you get shot, you get shot. Whether it be paintball or airsoft. Play by the rules. Or I will find my friends. And tell them about the cheaters that play. That play on fields. I don't know if there's any in Virginia. If there's any place where airsofters or paintball. Or people that play paintball or airsoft go play I don't know where they go but one thing's for sure cheaters if you watch this better play by the rules because I believe I have some friends that play paintball or airsoft but if they play both because I'm, cause I'm actually thinking of playing paintball and airsoft Cheaters, better watch your back. <laughs> and refs, if you are friends with any players on the field, whether it be enemy 
or whether, whether it be the opposing teams, whatever. If you're friends with any refs that are friends with the players on the field. And if that person knows they shot that person, because when somebody is shot in airsoft, they flinch. But in paintball, you get hit, there's a paint splotch on you. So, no cheating. I've, I've watched a lot of videos. And this video is dedicated to all the people that play fair. Cheaters, if you think you play fair, wrong idea. To any cheaters that play airsoft or paintball. If you've got hit several times and did not call your hits in airsoft, you better start calling them. Or to every to every place where airsoft is played, refs and um the refs will possibly do do what I said a little earlier in this video. Um, they will possibly have a BB gun, or an airsoft gun, BB airsoft, possibly the same thing, because airsoft guns shoot BBs, BB guns shoot BBs. But it takes a while to put one in the chamber. So, cheaters, you want to cheat? That's fine. But don't think of doing it no more. Because you possibly get revoked from the place you've been going to. And besides refs, um, what I was saying a little earlier about one of the other refs having an airsoft gun, it was a uh, pistol. He had that and he was shooting each player. They were on different teams, seeing if they would call their hits. And if they did, they'd stay. If they didn't, they left. So if you decide to do that, that's fine. But cheaters never, and I mean never win. Besides, you cheat, you cheat. Bad move. That's all. That's all I say. That's a bad move, and I and I mean it. Because it's like this: if you're still in school and you play some activity games that with in the gym or in PE, whatever you want to call it, and get in physical education, there are rules to those games too. There are cheaters in those games. I know because when, uh, let's say, let's take an example. Dodgeball. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go with that. There are rules to that game. You get hit, you're out. Until everybody on one team is out. And then another round. Yeah. And it's like this. Whenever I got hit, I went out but whenever I got somebody else on the opposing team out or hit them with a uh, ball they stayed in and then a little argument came out and uh, well the coaches said any cheater they see push-ups for everybody and this goes out to the this goes out to the gym teachers everywhere coaches play that in schools any coaches that see this cheaters never should never should be playing the game they want to cheat they they should go somewhere else oh by the way um my, what I'm saying is not over, so see you in part two.